So we are in the swing of fall and the holidays are quickly coming. So with Thanksgiving around the corner, it's time to come up with some awesome fall recipes that you can share with your friends and family this upcoming holiday season. One of my favorites to share is a butternut squash soup. Now, the nice thing about using squash this time of year is that it's in season, so it's abundant, easy to find, and cheaper than it would normally be. And one of the nice things about shopping in season is that your wallet is definitely gonna thank you for it. But also, purchasing in-season produce is a great way to add variety to your meal planning because you're always rotating as the temperatures change. So it's an easy way to get more colors and variety in your day-to-day -day meal planning. So let's get into this butternut squash recipe. So first things first here, we're gonna cube a butternut squash and remove the seeds. Remember to save those seeds because you could always roast them and they will make an awesome snack. Once that's done, we're gonna season lightly with a little bit of salt and pepper and pop them in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until they have softened. While that's going on, we're gonna prep our mise en place. So there's a little bit of variety here. I always like starting with ginger, garlic, and either scallion or some type of onion. And you can add either carrots or celery or both, depending on what you have or what you like. You can also add other fruits here, like oranges or apples to add some acidity and sweetness. You're also gonna need some spices. So I like using curry powder in my butternut squash soup. I'm also gonna be using some ground cloves and some cinnamon. And I prefer my soups on the bulkier side, sometimes serving them in a way where I only need to have the soup saved for lunch or dinner. I'm gonna actually be adding some pinto beans and you can add cannellini beans if you wanna add more additional fiber or protein to this dish. So in terms of the steps, we're gonna add our aromatic to the pot first and we're gonna cook that down until our onions translucent we're talking about four or five six minutes somewhere in that range once that's done I'm gonna add my beans and then saute this to kind of warm them through and then we could finally add in our butternut squash and our vegetable stock and we're gonna stir this to combine and bring it to a boil and we're also gonna add our spices at this point point. and then once all our vegetables have softened up about 20 minutes or so I like testing this by using a spoon and trying to cut a vegetable with my spoon against the side of the pot we're gonna let this cool a little bit and then using an immersion blender we're gonna blend this until it is smooth you might want to let this cool a bit so you don't have it splattering kind of all on top of you and then you don't burn yourself. While this is going on, we're going to actually make our cashew cream. So we have about half a cup of cashew nuts. These have soaked overnight. We're going to add a little bit of miso paste or salt if you don't have it and about a cup and a half of water and we're gonna pulse this until smooth. Then after the soup is blended, we're gonna add about half of our cashew cream and stir to combine and then we could season here with salt and pepper or however we want. And then really, it's time to serve this up. So one of the things I love about butternut squash soup is how many different ways there are to garnish and add flavor here. So you can go with fresh herbs, scallions, sesame oil, some of that extra cashew cream. There's a lot you can do. Today, I'm gonna use a little bit of that cashew cream and some scallion greens, but feel free to dress this however you want. And then after that, you're all set to go. So like I said, this is one of my favorite, favorite fall recipes. I hope you give this one a shot. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week.